Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie from Scrapped Doll Seven Creations, and today I wanted to share some <clears throat> altered composition notebooks that I've been working on um, throughout the week. Um, there's a lot of um, YouTube videos of people that have altered notebooks, so I just kind of, you know, followed a few tutorials, um, not one in particular, and I just kind of. Um, you know, just kind of, you know, took the ideas and made it my own and um, decided to give it a go. <laughs> okay, so um, these are all Christmas themed um, as well. Um, <clears throat> and the paper collections I use were, were various collections that I'll, um, you know, get to show you um, for each of the notebooks. Okay. All right. So the very, very first one that I made was this one right here. <laughs> Okay, so it's this little, cute little Santa Claus in his sleigh with his little reindeer who's, I think, holding a yeah, little a gift there. Okay, um, and then the paper pad that I used for that was from Hobby Lobby, and it was this one right here. Okay, you can see that same image on the cover. Um, so this was from the paper studio, I believe in Santa. Okay, um, and this is eight and a half by 11 size. Okay, all the other paper pads that I used for the rest of them were all 12 by 12s, which actually turned out to be easier to use. <laughs> and I'll explain that when I when I get to those ones. But um, because this one, it's kind of hard to, I mean, you, it's because of the size and the image that you want to have on the front, um, you have to really like cut it to size. And sometimes that gets a little tricky with, you know, lining it up and, you know, things like that. So, you know, I only used um, this size for the, the first one I did. So, um, but yeah, that was the first paper pad that I used. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I just decorated it front and back. All right, and this side I used um, this little cute little print. Okay, um, I added some lace um, to the sides, and I put that little snowflake in the corner there. Um, and then on the inside, okay, um, again, I layered the inside with um, paper, and then I just um, added a pocket and put some lace at the top. Okay, and you know, whatever anybody wants to use the notebook for, they have a little pocket to keep whatever it is that they, you know, maybe need to put in there, maybe a pen or some, you know, um, receipts if it's for like, you know, you're shopping for things or whatever it is. Okay, and then um, I did add some tabs. And for that, I used my Fisker's um, Scallop Punch okay to make those okay and I did that for all the notebooks as well I used that for all of them um, here is a, actually here's one that I didn't use um, so that's you know what it comes out to look like okay and then I just I did four um, so each section has you know a bunch you know what however you want to sort your your sections and things like that um, you know you that's you know that's up to you what you want to do um, so yeah so that is my my first um, notebook okay um, let's see I'll put it right on this side. well let's see I'll put that over there okay my second one I used the Crafters Companion um, Watercolor Christmas um, Paper Pad. Okay, so I used this one for this next journal. And this is how it came out. I really, I really liked how that one um, came out. <laughs> um, I love that image of the snowman. Okay, um, so again... Um, now, now, since it's 12 by 12, it is a little easier to position the paper because you just put, you know, you just um, put whatever image or however, whatever you, however you want it on the cover, you just, um, you add like, I used score tape. So I just added score tape and then I just 
took the piece of paper and just set it right down. Okay, so that was a lot easier. And then I just cut, you know, around, you know, where um, I needed to cut, um, you know, to get rid of the excess. So I just lined it up right here under the, the black part of the notebook. And then I just, you know, cut around it. So that was a lot easier with the 12 by 12. Um, so, but yeah, so again, so I used some um, different lace for this one. And I did put a little snowflake in the corner there from my stash. It's a little felt snowflake. Um, yeah. And then in the back, I just used some of this pretty snowflake paper, same from the collection. Okay, again, I added a snowflake and the lace on the back. Okay. And then on the inside, Again, I just, um, you know, lined the inside with the uh, pattern paper. And then I just added some lace on the side here and some on the pocket. And again, there's a little pocket there. Okay. And then I also put the tabs. Okay, so I just kind of sectioned it off and put the little tabs. Okay, yeah, so that is my second altered composition notebook. Okay, and I'll put that right there. <laughs> and here's my first one right there. Okay, so, you know, and I kind of, you know, decorated it a little bit differently um, depending on what I had. You know, okay, the next one, um, I used the um, Santa Baby from Prima. Um, I used this collection for um, my next uh, notebook. Okay, Santa Baby. And this is the, um, the notebook. Okay. So I just, I love the cute little Santa image there. <laughs> so again, I just, you know, um, positioned it so that he would be right, you know, on the edge, you know, of that black spine. And then I just, you know, put my score tape on the um, cover and then I just placed the paper down and then I just cut around it. I did um, take my Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink and I did distress the bottom a little bit just to give it a more little vintage look. Okay, like right there. Okay. Okay, and then I added this eyelet lace on the sides. Okay. And then on the inside, again, I just lined it with, um, you know, some more of the paper from the collection. Um, and I added this little pocket. And then I put some of that little lace there. Okay, added some lace here, and then uh, here are my tabs, and again, I just used that Fisker's Punch um, <clears throat> to make the tabs, so I just kind of divided it, you know, and I didn't really count the pages, I just kind of took a chunk and <laughs> thought, you know, okay, this is good, um, you know. Yeah, and then the back. And that's how I made the back. Okay. Yeah. So I thought that came out really cute. I was very pleased with um with this one. You know, it has more of a shabby Christmas vibe to it. Okay. So that's that one. Okay. All right. The next one I used, um, I don't have a paper collection for this one. I just had gone to my local scrapbook store and I just picked up a few um, pieces of this paper, which is from Simple Stories. This cute little Santa. I thought he was adorable. I thought he would look really cute on the cover. 
Um, but it's uh, Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Dear Santa. That's the collection. Um, ho, ho, ho. And the item number 20803. If you're interested in that collection, it's really very cute. Um, they did have the collection in the store, but I just, you know, I just decided to pick up the pieces that I, or the papers that I really wanted. Um, on the back is this print here. Um, but I use this side. Okay, so that's the collection I used for that. And here is the notebook. Okay, so I thought this came out really. This was the this was the last one I did. I just finished this um, this you know just a few minutes ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the front, and I added um, this um, you know Isla green and red lace that I I've had for a while. I think I got it at I might have got it at from either Goodwill or another um, you know, store, um, oh, I forgot the name of that store, but it's another, you know, it's another store like, like Goodwill. It's another, um, store where you can buy antiques and things like that. But, um, yeah, so that's the front. And then I added the gingham tabs. Okay, let's go on the inside. And I used a gingham paper. Again, I made a pocket. Added this lace to the top. Okay, and then here are the sections. Um, again, with that, you know, so. And then the back. Let me make sure I don't fold over any of the pages. Looks like that. So that was another um, that was another piece that I picked up from from the collection. Were these pretty ornaments? Okay, so that is this one. Okay. Okay, and then the next one I used was from this paper pad from Michaels. Um, I've had this for a little while. Um, it's from Craft Smart. It's called Holiday Ballet, and it has some really cute um, images from the Nutcracker, which I love. I love the Nutcracker. So I used, um, I almost used this one for the cover, but then I went with the green. I thought I was thinking of doing that one too, which I still might do. <laughs> and nutcrackers. Um, so I used that paper collection for this next journal. And here it is. Again, I, I really kind of like the way this one came out too. <laughs> um, and then I also did put this um, cutout from the collection, the nutcracker. So I did put that in the middle because, you know, this has, you know, it's a. The print is just so pretty. So I thought that would complement it really, really nicely. Um, so again, I used this lace on the sides. And on the inside. Um, this one I did like put some lace all the way around for this one. Um, again, I have a pocket here. And then I just used, um, again, I used my Fisker's Punch to make these tabs to section it off. And then the back um, looks like that. Okay. And once you get, like, going on these things, it doesn't take as long as, you know, once you get your, you know, system going. <laughs> So that's that one. Okay. Fall. Okay. Uh, and then the next one, I got two more left. <laughs> and the next one I used was from, again, this paper pad from Michaels. It's Safe Freeze. And they always come out with the Safe Freeze collection every year. Um, so th these have a lot of snowmen in it. Um, which I thought would be really cute. 
It's called Christmas Noel. And this I've had for a few years. Um, so I use that for this next one. And here it is. Okay, so I use this cute little image of the snowman family. And on the sides, I put this gold lace, which I thought complemented it pretty well. Okay, and then on the inside, okay, I use this striped paper from the collection, and then I, um, I had this scrap piece left over, so I thought, well, that would make a cute pocket. And then just added some of this um, beaded or pearl lace up at the top the pocket okay and then I used um, you know these to make the tabs the stripe which is the same as the on the cover so I use that for the tabs and then the back um, I use this pretty um, blue and white and beige um, snowflake for the back All right, so that's that one. Okay. Okay, that stands up there. <laughs> okay, and the very last one I have to share with you, um, I used, oh, shoot, didn't, ah, I didn't get that paper pad up here. I've got paper pads all over the place. I've got a whole, um, <laughs> as you can see, I, I took out all of my Christmas paper pads um, from my, uh, they're all in my little dresser over here, and I just had to, like, take them all out and see what I wanted. <laughs> so, uh, I got some cleaning up to do here, but uh, <laughs> anyway, um, the last one... I was so excited about it because I love gingerbread, and I and it was it was a paper pad I've had for years. I think it was a um, die cuts with a view paper pad, which is somewhere around here. Um, but it, I goofed on this one because, as you can see, it's a lot thinner. <laughs> so what happened was, and I don't know. I lost some of the, the stitching kind of came loose and I lost a lot of some pages. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, it still looks cute and everything, you know, it's still cute, but I, this one, I was kind of disappointed cause you know, it was gingerbread and I'm like, oh, this is gonna look so cute. And then kind of, well, anyway, just <laughs> so, but you know, um, you know, maybe I'll, keep this one for myself and I'll use this one for me for Christmas. But anyway, the inside, all right, I use this brown polka dot for the inside cover. Again, I put lace around the edge, made this pocket and put some of the matching lace there. Um, again, I use that same, you know, polka dot paper to make the tabs. This one, I only put three tabs instead of four because, you know, I lost a lot of the papers inside. Um, okay, and, and then the back, um, it looks like that. Okay, so that was my last, um, my last notebook here. <laughs> so... Yeah, so I, you know, I thought I'd come out and share with you, um, you know, I, I'm really enjoying making these notebooks. Um, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can um, participate in a craft fair. Um, the one that I was first interested in doing, um, it, you know, it's a big one. And it, it's like for a 10 by 10 space, you have to pay like $350. I'm like, oh, geez. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that might be more than I'm going to be taking in. So uh, I've never done this before. I've never done a craft show before. So I'm, you know, trying to learn as much as I can. Um, so I'm like, uh. so then I went around and looked at um, different churches 
And there's one that gets just down the street from me that has one in December as well. Um, and but right now they're they're get pretty booked, so I I'm on the waiting list to um, to participate. So hopefully they'll let me know. I think the first week in September. Um, you know, if they have any more spaces left. So I hope so, because I really would like to, um, you know, participate and try it and see what happens. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I've got cards, you know, I can sell and I've got some other projects that I, you know, I, I want to make, you know, different things I want to try. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm in the process of doing. In a couple weeks, I start back to school. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can now that I, you know, because once school starts, <laughs> yeah, I don't have the time, you know, I'm just, it's, it's, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, teaching is, it takes a lot of time. So I'm trying to get as much done before I have to go back to school. Um, and then just do the rest on weekends, you know, but, you know, but I also have my dad to look after and, you know, things in my house I got to do. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I'd come on and share with you. Let me know what you think. Um, and again, if any of you have participated in craft shows, if you have any advice or, you know, tips or anything you'd like to share, I would love to hear them. Um, I would so appreciate it. So, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And I will... Um, you know, come back in the next video with something else. Okay, bye.